Both teams come into this one riding high after back-to-back -back wins. Mr. Vitale, this third round game should prove to be a tight one between the St. Mary's Gales and the North Carolina Tar Heels. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Tar Heels, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. Number one, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Thirdly, it's imperative that you win the battle of the boards. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Great shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. The center takes the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Picked out of the air. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Trying to pack it inside. Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The power forward gets the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. Scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. The Tar Heels are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Gets it. Screener took a lick setting that pick. Up and inside. Turns it over. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Jumped in front to take it away. With the fake, the point guard takes the feed. Post flashes for the ball handler. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Let's it fly. He drains the bucket. He'll regroup the offense. They'll work it around the arc. Tries a three. He gets it to fall. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land for the bucket. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'll be in trouble without him. Inside. He's got a nice shot fake. Fakes it. For two. Perfectly executed. On the outside, fed the low block. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside, the center gets the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. the elbow they feed down to the low block nice drop step I tell you he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step the center with the ball perfectly executed Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to get 
with that ball movement, get that good spacing. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. They work the perimeter. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Number two takes it away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Look at this guy's speed. And he just puts pressure, pressure, pressure on the defense. All the time, the way he takes and attacks the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. He attempts the trifecta. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad. And it's hanging right over the goal. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Garrison comes up with it. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have... He rejects it. Garrison is pretty fired up and excited. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. A little frustration right there. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That double team looks very unstable. It's going to be a lot more forceful. Looking for a good shot. Garrison picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a flash from the high post. He throws it up from downtown, way off target. Unloads. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. There it is, Jam City. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed.
for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Anticipation defensively. Number two is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses the first. A second. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He unloads a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Cross court. Goes up for two. That's good. We got to see that one again. Accepts it. Gave it up. He fires from long range. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside, jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. Thanks, Erin. And one too many dribbles and a steal, trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Set that screen away. From right of the circle. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. <laughs> he 
He pump fakes. Count that as a personal foul. My goodness. Players these days in the athleticism, basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. With the freebie. He got it. Tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Basket falls despite the contact. The Gales have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. <laughs> they strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from right of the circle. Nails the long distance, Jay. On the outside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Side. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. Nice fake. He shoots way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two, perfectly executed. Only the replay can do this justice. Working it around the perimeter. Good fake. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from outside. He gets it to go. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go.
good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. North Carolina have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. From the baseline. Oh, yes. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Opportunity for two for one. Buries it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He does the sweet fake shot. He takes the shot. That was nice. Turnovers either. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Gales lead by six. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Carolina has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Strips the ball. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. Here he comes defensively. 
away on him on the low block hit. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ball goes out of bounds. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He shoots from downtown. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Well, he's on fire. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Leans in. North Carolina is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Working around the arc. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Nope. Step out on that screener. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it. That's a seven zip run. The center handles the feed. Off the rim and no good. There was no doubt about that one. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. So we get another look. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For two, he shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. Gave it up. Takes it away. He launches a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. For the bucket. They still don't score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 20 steals the ball. The ball goes out of play. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. High post flashes for the opportunity. Fake. Shots there if he wants it. Puts up the tray. He's good for another score. Head to the space anytime now, boys. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. A chance for two. First one is good. Gets the second. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. He intercepts it. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Kick it back outside. Unloads a three. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. From the top of the key, he drains the bucket. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. It's stolen. What a great strip. Easy one. for two. You betcha. Work it inside and each and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Do a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Stolen ball. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up with a quarterback pass. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He 
he gets the rejection. They just keep shutting the door. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. Basket falls despite the contact. See a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Defense! 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 The center receives the pass. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. ACC, one of my favorite conferences. Year in and year out, one of the most competitive conferences as well, Dick. Hey, so many greats have played in the ACC. These venues have been the home for so many great players and coaches. Takes away the pass. In the post. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Goes to the free throw line. No doubt. Picked off. Number 50 with the foul. Third team foul. And now watch them celebrate. Even the mascot's in on the action. Ho, oh, oh, ho, even the mascot is on the celebration. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. In the paint, looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Unloads a three. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 22 grabs it. They get it out into transition. Nice little jam right there. The one-hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Gave it up. The fake. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Great defense. the dribble gives it up the small forward handles the pass picked out of the air Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you, doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away he tries the three tickles the twine Take it away. The 
center receives the ball and he missed on the outside fake looking for a good shot there's the trap fires away he buries it Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. And he misses the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Takes the pass in the paint. Stolen. Side. Right in the circle. He's money with a shot. Double team now, bad angle. Wide open for the shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets a good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Let's it fly. Gets it to fall. He pulls up with a jumper. He misses the J. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. On the dribble, gives it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to... Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. With the free throw. Makes it. That's basic. Gave it up for two. And he scores despite the hack. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from right of the circle. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. 
That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Takes it off him. On the dribble, gives it up. Post screen, gonna use it. He takes the three. He hits the shot. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got to trim this lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And a momentary look from three-point land. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Got some room. Ten seconds to shoot. Timeout's call. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. Lazy pass. They get out on the break. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Kicks it out. He goes for the trifecta. Sinks it. One on the shot clock. He throws it up from downtown. Rims out. In the paint. Number 50 with the fake. Number two is called for the foul. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Tar Heels makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be...